Jabra Lovic. Well, you're guaranteed to like this fight. If you watch this fight and you do not like it, then you don't like fighting. Because Stanya Gabrilovich, he will face this man down, and, and Yassine Bandui is going to bring it to him, but Stranya doesn't take a step backward. So as this winning fighter, who's aggressive in his own right, is coming forward, it may be a better plan for Stranya to circle around and encounter him, but he will not do that. No. He will face this man down in the middle of the ring, and uh, you're gonna enjoy it. You see in the corner, of Yassine Bandui, UFC welterweight, Nordine Taleb, who also comes from France. Well, I just mentioned uh, to uh, jo uh, Joe Munier, yeah. make sure to say yeah. hi to Nordine for us. We have fight never love that guy. And here he is strolling out here. And uh, great fighter, great mind. Good dude. Yeah, and a, and a great dude. Uh, so he's got a great corner here coming all the way over from France and, and having a couple of guys here that'll support him like that. But you look at the physique the of Bandui Robin, Strania. it appears Gabriel. that he probably should be fighting at 170 pounds, especially when you consider what Strania is gonna look like when he gets into the, into the ring. Yeah, different people have different focuses yeah, as they build their fighting, and, and for guys that, are, that have that cut from iron look, that strength, that conditioning focus is a big one. And Davis DeSantos, we saw it yeah, earlier oh tonight. God, yeah, that guy was in crazy shape. And that focus on conditioning, on strength, can make the difference in power, but it can also make the difference in endurance. And uh, we'll see. Stanya Gavrilovic is uh, he's in it to win it. There you see Yannick Bergeron, striking coach. Also, Lee Vilna, jiu-jitsu coach. Stanya is built for this, no doubt about that. And uh, he likes to travel around and get different looks at different gyms. And his coaches, Yannick Bergeron and others, are, understand that about him, understand that's something he, he thrives doing. So they encourage it. Good coaches do encourage that. Sometimes you'll hear about a coach, you know, who says they don't want to do that in general. That uh, that may be a coach's lack of confidence sometimes or being protective of something, but truthfully, in most cases, guys really benefit from being able to see so many different looks. Gavrilovic looking for his sixth win in a row. We talked to his manager, Stefan Patry, who says this guy was the first guy chosen for Tough Nations. Yeah, and whether it was their background check or a, a, a doctor's check or what it was, he didn't end up on the show, but you can see why you pick him. Run. I mean, he's a Viking. I mean, he's a Viking, literally. He fights like a caveman who is very skilled. I honestly believe his style is one of the most fan-friendly styles in MMA today. It's scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. This bout is proudly brought to you by Sherbatov MMA. Les juges pour ce combat de judges for this bout. Guy Girard, Yannick Louf, and David Terrien. Your referee, a 10-year veteran in combat sports, Philippe Chartier. Introducing first in the blue corner, he weighed in at a fighting ready 185 pounds. Professional record reads as follows. Four wins in seven outings as a professional with two wins coming by way of submission. Originally from Paris, France, now fighting and residing out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, proudly representing the Tri-Star Gym, Yassine Bandoi. He weighed in at 185 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. Five wins with three wins coming by way of knockout and one submission. He proudly represents Team Bergeron. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the world. For the co-main event, three, five.
five minute rounds, Philip Cherche saying, go back to your corner. <laughs> You'll get to fight each other in just a couple of seconds. <laughs> you don't have to be so eager. But uh, these two will be eager to get after it, that is for sure. Romanovic has two wins in the third round. So this is a guy that can finish the show late in the game. Beautiful jab by Bandui. Beautiful. But touching him with it consistently. Oh, man, he has got more than happy to let those combinations go and let him go loose. Lightning fast hands displayed early by Bandui. Sobolovic does not seem concerned at this stage. Wow, they li literally found a, a, an opponent so willing to fight exactly like the Viking fights here. And Bandui more than happy. That was a stiff one. You're gonna feel that on the lower leg. Willovic dig into the body. Very impressed by Bandui's head movement. See how he slipped that first jab that came in with 1-1-2. One, one, and now he's corralling him, circling away. Bandui did not come in here to just be blitzed by this uh, Viking Steinjahn. Oh, and a right uppercut. Tags Gabrilovic. Bandui. With some good work early here in round one. Whether uh, strength and conditioning is a focus or not, boxing certainly is for this man. Look how comfortable he is there under fire. This is a this is a tough fight for Stanya. Every fight he's been in has been a hell of a battle. And he's gonna try to will his way through this one like he does every other one. And that, and that is a tough assignment. But he's found a nice spot in here tighter with the one collar tie in the dirty box. And again, when you look at the physique of Bandui, you see Gavrilovic digging to the body. You know that's going to pay off yes. the later this fight goes. Bandui slipped a few uppercuts of his own in there, and you see a much tighter guard now from Strani. Oh, he's been lit up early. He does not care. You have to turn him off. I, you, he will not stop fighting. I mean, he will absolutely keep going. But Bandui is striking is excellent. That low kick, low, low kick has been working great. And Robin, you and I talked about intangibles in the past. For Bandui, he's landing almost at will. And for a fighter who is landing like that, but your opponent continues to come forward, that must be disheartening. Yeah, it's spooky, you know? He knows what kind of power he has. It's technique that it generates his power. Look at that. That's, that's going to pay off. Yeah. The, one of the themes tonight has been the value of low kicks. But look at the trouble Stanley's in. There are no easy fights at Fight for Pride, baby. Wow, what a hell of a fight already. We're halfway through round one. Can Van Hui keep this up? Both men trying to dominate the clinch. Bandui with a tight hook on the way out as he circles around. Strania is going to feel fatigue. His punches require a lot more energy. And there's another third or the fourth of those. His punches require a lot more exertion. That one definitely got Gavrilovic's attention. But he comes back with a right hand. This guy, this Bandui guy, not the slightest bit intimidated, not the slightest bit threatened, and, and so confident in his skills. Now looking for the takedown, Gavrilovic stopping it momentarily, Bandui sticking with it. If it's not, make it happen. You know, we looked at the physique and we talked about endurance and about uh, right, yeah. the fitness and how it could affect the fight early and late. But Bandui has forced Bandulovic to exert a lot more. Bandui is doing what he does with the box. He's about speed, not power. He's about fluidity. He's about to take out and it's not his time to collapse. Stranya's got the body off now. He should get this. But his head under the chin, slowing it down, but Bandui gets inside the one arm. Let's go, Justin, let's go. 
On uh, Thursday afternoon, we were discussing Strania with Cody, one of our friends there, and a few of the other guys, and we described what you expect from this yep. fight. Is that it's, it's, it's this. going down exactly <laughs> the way we anticipated? Yeah. It's this: he wants to hurt you, and in the process of, he is going to get hurt, and he's facing a skilled man in uh, Bandui here. And Strania starts out moving his head much better here, but he gets touched with the jab. And I want to look at that uh, kick. We've seen, you mentioned the theme of the low kick on the lead leg. However, we're seeing Gavrilovic attack the cap opposed to the thigh. Oh! oh. Gavrilovic could be hurt here. He wobbled on Menden and now drags him down using the foot face lock position. He wobbled Strania and Strania answered with a hard right. But yeah, that low kick, Ben Henderson yep. used to use it. It uh, definitely upsets the man's balance, and it will slow down his footwork, and it hurts. Will he be able to? Bandui 
showing his full mixed martial arts arsenal as he looks to control the back. And Stratton was trying to get a hold of one of those base arms, but uh, he is in trouble. He's looking for the body triangle. Stratton lifts his hip to try to hide it. He's trying to get down, now. And you hear a lot of people in the audience yelling, yes, see. Well, this guy's the real deal. And this day and weather, you're going to have a hard time getting him off, particularly while tired, smashed, your blood in your eyes. And Strania's had a hell of a tough couple of first, uh, first couple of rounds. But there is something in this man that will not yeah. allow him to give up. As you mentioned, you have to shut the lights in. Yeah, you got to finish him. You got to put him out. He's trying to pry out that hook. one yeah. hook. In doing so, sometimes you put your neck in jeopardy. But he doesn't, oh. and he ends up on top with just <laughs> under 30 seconds remaining. Is it time to make Van Dewey pay? You could not like this. And actually 10 seconds remaining, and one more moment. Ridiculous combat being displayed here in our co-made feature boat. Everyone in the venue standing. It's, it's just a very special fight you're witnessing, not just because of the supple technique that we're seeing, but because of the heart, guts, and desire of these men. We knew that was the case with Spania. And uh, this kid, Yassim Bandui, wow, he is skilled, and he is finding out a lot about himself tonight, what kind of man he is, what he can do through the chaos and through the pain, and he has looked spectacular. And when he got that takedown at the end, or midway through round two, I think he cemented himself that round, in my opinion. And I'll tell you something about Bandui Robin, he is currently riding a two-fight winning streak after losing three straight fights. Well, that tells you who this man is. When it comes easy, we can all do it. But when you start to really be tested, look, he's walking out, he wants some. But as I mentioned earlier, Gavrilovic has two victories out of his five that have ended in the third round. While we're talking about Stanley being a caveman, he's also very smart. He spotted that bit of water and he asked him to clean it, which brought him an extra yeah. 20 seconds of recovery. That'll be valuable for him. Let's see what he can do with it. If I'm uh, Nordin Taleb, I'm asking for circular movement and jabs, jab at distance. If you are in the corner of Yassin Bandui, are you confident that he is he has won the first two rounds. You can never be sure that that was my opinion. Gavrilovic beaten, battered, but not broken. Not yet. No. Looking for the Hail Mary bomb. We, we love his skill and we love the, the way he fights, but I've never seen the kind of heart and desire. It's so rare what you see from him, but really from both of these two. Because Bad Lee has been looking yes. at his face. And now he's, gonna, he's looking to finish. Someone's getting finished in this round. Bad Lee is not fighting the way he is coming alive here until we could have been circling down, circling down. He wants, he's found something special in this fight and in himself. And in this matchup with Scott and he's looking for more. Takedown once again, really mixing it up nicely. Is the fighter from France? If he can get the, the takedown, he may really ensure this victory. Cheers, but you can ensure it by shutting the lights off of the Viking and tell you. What a performance from both these guys. And there is an opportunity, but oh, oh, big elbow lands for Gabrilovic. 
Looking worthy of the cut from downtown. Wow. I would not like to see the punch stats on this. I don't know how you get into quadruple digits in under 15 minutes. But Before rendering the official decision, did they give us a war or what? Let's give them a tremendous round of applause. Alors voici la décision des juges. Here's the judge's decision. Les juges Girard, Louf et Terrien voient tous le combat de la même manière. All three judges see it the same way. 30 to 27. 
for your winner, pour votre vainqueur, Yassine Listen, man, that was an incredible fight that you just put on with this man. You gotta, you have to feel good after that. I mean, you have to feel in, in incredible pain, but you have to feel good. I'm very good. Uh, can I speak in French? Yes, please, en français. Uh, je me sens vraiment bien. Et uh, je, je voudrais dédier ce combat à mon ami Jogi. Jogi, t'es où, Jogi? C'est pour toi. C'est pour toi, Jogi aussi. Euh, je voulais remercier aussi les frères Sherbatov de m'avoir donné ma chance. Euh, et euh, sur, surtout, un grand, grand merci à Franco et Nordine Taleb. C'est vraiment des, des frères pour moi. Et sans eux, j'aurais peut-être pas gagné ce soir. Après, je voulais dire aussi, il euh, y a beaucoup de gens qui ont pensé que j'étais faible. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui ont pensé que je n'allais pas y arriver ce soir. Et euh, ce victoire, c'est pour eux aussi. Pour leur montrer que... On me disait, Strania, il est tough. Strania, il est dangereux. C'est vrai tout ça. Mais ce soir, je pense vous avoir prouvé que je suis dangereux aussi. Et euh, je voudrais surtout remercier ma femme, Elise ici présente. Euh, sans toi, bébé, euh, c'est sûrement pas à ce niveau-là pour tous les bons plats que tu m'as préparés. Et à mes beaux-parents aussi, merci à mes beaux-parents d'être venus. Ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the greatest fights that we've seen. You should be very, very proud of that, sir. Congratulations. Thank you for that wonderful fight. Strania.